Jerry Schwartz's participation in this project has been very substantial. We all know of his outstanding reputation as one of the great conductors in the United States today. But what is especially gratifying is his enthusiasm and willingness to participate with us in all places of the world to ensure that we record this music with the highest quality. The Milken Archive project is unique because it's music that for the most part has never been recorded before. And because it's an archive, it has put all that music in historical perspective over the last century or so. So we really see how Jewish American music has grown, progressed, and influenced music of all kinds all over the world, especially during the 20th century. Good, bravo, bravo, well, that's fun, huh? When Neil Levin introduced me to the project and introduced me to a number of the pieces, I was astounded at the quality of the music. One of the great things that artists can look forward to is having an impact on the world. If I can influence people around the world to play a certain work because of my performance of my recording, that gives that recording a special place in my heart because I have helped make it come alive. The Eternal Road was a real highlight for me. This is a great work by Kurt Weill. Kurt Weill, one of the greatest composers of the 20th century. And this may be his greatest work of all. The whole idea of this work being a story told in a synagogue as the Jews were about to be thrown out of their country in a pogrom uh, is fascinating. When I studied the score, I was astounded by the beauty of it, the imagination, the drama of it. Great playing, huh? Fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic playing. Oh, so, fantastic. Oh, yeah. 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 Fantastic. It's an honor for all of us to be a part of this. I felt it from the chorus, I felt it from the soloist, and especially from the orchestra. Great playing, the section also. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. You were great. The solos were the best today. Yeah. As it should be. Uh, as it should be. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was really great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Pleasure. All the best for you. All the best. Bye. Bye-bye. Doing Herman Berlinski's piece was an extraordinary experience. We had a great cast. The singers were sensational. Uh, the orchestra was sensational. I wished I had known him before I conducted it myself because he's not only a marvelous conductor, but he has this wonderful approach of knowing the work, understanding the work, bringing out features of the work which my, I myself wasn't completely fully aware. In addition to this, he's a man of an infinite patience and uh, a capability of enthusiasm. He's not, he's not conducting anything like routine. He's not conducting anything like a chore. It, it, it involves his whole person and I admire this. Yeah, this is good, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Great sound. Great yeah. sound. Nice tempos. Good oh, good. Swing. I'm happy you like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thrill for any performer is to come across a masterpiece, an important work of art that they hadn't known before. I remember. Uh, doing a concert with the Czech Philharmonic, one of the great orchestras of the world. And they were absolutely exhilarated by the music, of course impressed by its quality, and moved by it. And uh, I think it changed those people's lives, because here they were experiencing something that they have never heard of or felt before.
have always had a had an affinity for Jewish music a lot because of the Milken archive and because I was exposed to so many pieces through my father's recordings and of other recordings and I have and I have so many of them in my library that I listen to regularly hearing Julian talk about it means that he was absorbing it too which some, is a, something great about talking to others is I don't even know these things you know <laughs> I didn't even know that he has all these recordings and listens to them but he's that kind of musician The Milken Archive has allowed Jewish musicians, I'm speaking from my own experience, to come to their Judaism through music. To hear an answer like he gave about the influence of the Milken Archive and his life and his Jewishness and what he's felt as a human being is very touching to me. And it, it makes me, again, very proud of what the Archive has accomplished. My son is one of millions, but it's nice that he is one.